So I'm excited to see how Stickless evolves over the coming years for uh, at the FGC in general. But now we're going to be moving on to MFCR and Marvello. I feel like I see these two players in top eight all the time. I'm always hearing their names. They're, I mean, they're too good not to. <laughs> I love seeing this match, though. Them two play, very fun to watch. We're letting the intros rock here. Hey, I mean, the intros go hard. Sure, they're long, but... <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Now we're gonna see. This is, this is, I assume this need to be. start with the punish, and Marvello already had a safe jump coming out. Ooh, that flash kiss gonna catch Marvello out of the air. Back turn stance. Now Marvello's on the defense. Yeah. You gotta just hold this. But Ooh, he's gonna find the clash. It is very confident in that clash. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a very quick match because what you have left right mix ups and then you have a rush down. And MFCR does not like to play it safe. I mean. That's the wrong way to put it. He likes to play it safe, but he likes to play it fast. That's the best. Once he feels like, once he gets that confidence in the matchup, MFCR is going to just keep pressing it. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know. Right MFC now, pressing it a little too much. And Marvello is finding openings here. Yeah, getting a ton of counter hits. Leo, one touch. Chip, unfortunately, one touch as well. But Chip's going to find it. He's going to wreck his way into a win in the first round. Yep. Now, both of them coming in with burst on the second round here. Pretty good burst. <laughs> well, Bursting immediately. I mean, to be fair, you got a Another immediate there. burst. Okay, never mind. I, the first one made sense, the second one. <laughs> anyway. Good throw tech. Yeah. Tries to throw the fireball, but Marvello finds a way in before it comes out. I believe that was the heavy slash fireball, because it's taking yeah. a little longer to come out. Ooh, and dragging him all across the stage and getting the wall splat, the wall break here. Now, Leo being out low health here. Oh my god. Blue Six. RC tried to go for the JD, but Marvello just holding jump. And getting that 6P too. 6P, Leo's 6P is very wacky. Not as wacky as Testament, but still. <laughs> Testament's got the best 6P in the game. I know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, wacky. The corner carry, wall break, Marvello. If he had meter, that would have killed, but you know. He's got a positive bonus. He's gonna he's gonna get his meter during this string, but a 5B is gonna open up Marvello. Red RC, take him to the corner. MFCR. Oh, that counter hit. That might be it. Oh! Oh, the left right mix up. You love to see it. It's very, very tense to watch because you gotta see. Will they guess it right? Will they guess it? He's gonna mix it up. Oh. Chip moves fast, but MFCR said I can move faster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that third tech right there. All right. And FCR in his, in the corner now. Marvello found a way out and put him FCR there. Ooh, but getting that burst. Ah, oh, you know, MFCR trying to bait the burst from Marvello and not falling for it. Misses the DP, but not close enough to punish. Ooh, burst from F FCR. Gonna up 16. Be able yeah. to let him get out of the corner. We got to end the side switch. Ugh. So hard for to the deal. heavy slash to get him in the back turn stance. Gonna close out that round. I got old man reaction speed, so trying to deal with Leo's. I've just got a small brain. It's not even like old man. <laughs> the MSCR is gonna take game <laughs> one. <laughs> Any anyways, uh, Marvello, see, Marvello pushing MSCR into this left corner here, trying to get a wall spot. And speaking of getting it, does. <laughs> Now Marvello's at 50%, he's going to spend it, get the red RC to try to keep pressure. Spends another red RC, Jesus. overhead, a third red RC with the positive bonus. Okay. And sure, the perfect. Chip That's... doing chip things, he's going 1,000 cuts here. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, misses the flash kick That's gonna, that could have the potential for a big punish, but didn't get it. Marvello, or MFCR is going to throw Marvello here into the corner. Yeah, no. Okay, trying to keep him in the corner. Oh, that's another fun. clash! He's very confident in PC. He's a yeah. class animation. He's like, I can go for this. Watch this. Marvello oh. has a game plan. He is here to execute it. <laughs> yes, right there. That's nasty. Having jumping no heavy again. slash gets him in again. Another jumping heavy. Misses the flash oh. kick. Is this going to be the bigger damage we've been looking for off of it? Ah. Wall break. Not going to kill, but it's going to leave MFCR on one touch. Aww. And the miss throw attempt. The whiff. You hate to see it. It's all right. Marvel's going to take this, though. All right. We got 1-1. One, one.
Now, of course, I want to see. Can Marvel keep up the steam in the steam engine of a game we call Stun? I mean, obviously, he, he's, he's putting in those blocks there. I mean, it's very scary with the block chains that Marvel can produce because Chip has a lot of, like, combo le combo opportunities, you know? So, As I mean, you were talking about the block string, MSCR was putting them in one and actually know, found a way true. to open it up. <laughs> Got two back turns. I mean, yeah, no. I'm, I'm, I mean, I was talking about Marvello, but MSCR, Leo has the exact same thing, man. It's just a different, two sides of the same phone. Marvello just has a lot of a miss throw. And MSCR just has rough right. He's going to spend the burst. Both players, no burst. Oh, the heavy counter. The combo off of it, though. And the 6K is yeah, going to open gonna him good. up in the wall flat. I always forget about that 6K. Yo, it doesn't look like an overhead, but it's an overhead. It is what it is, you know? <laughs> I mean, Delays the Rekka a little bit. Finds MFCR pressing a button. Ooh, yeah. They're going to get this is going to be that corner kind of, that corner carry that Marvello loves to do in the friendship super. It's going to be a really nice wall break right here. We're going to see a safe jump from Marvello here. There it is. <laughs> and having all this meter to go with. I mean, look at this. Positive bonus. Backdashes the 2D, actually. Oh, never mind. I lied. Um, MFCR putting him into the corner instead, but that YRC is going to take him out. Jeez, right. MFCR getting something cooking. What Another back turn, red RC, and here we are. What was he cooking? MFCR pushes it to around three here in game number three. Ooh. Good flash kick. It connects finally. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, getting the frame trap right there and using that burst to get out. No. What? I just, I, sorry, I just saw the burst connect, but it removed all of his burst later. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but whatever. Uh, is what it is. Yeah. Ooh, is he going to? Oh, I thought he was going to do the wall run thing. But I was looking for it, but he's going to 5D instead. He's going to keep him in the corner here. 2D counter hit, red RC, and this should be it. Yeah. Marvell is doing really nicely. Bring it back. MFCR had something going for a second, but Marvello made those quick adjustments that he's so known for at the top level of the FTC. Oh, yeah. But anyway. Ooh. Oh, what's the grab right there? Now you're going to see some heavy corner pressure. But MSCR is saying no. MSCR backdashing a lot and finding good spacings to get some whip punishes here. I wish I had MFCR's backdash spacing. Ooh, red oh, RCs, the block flash kick, but a beta blade's going to get Marvello's offense started. And now... Oh my god, MFCR applying all this pressure right here, having to FD all those moves. So, I mean, you're chipped, so you take too many hits, even if it is chip damage, and you're just gonna die. <laughs> oh god. Stance attack, gonna take it right there. MFCR just finding small victories, just finding small ways to open up Marvello, and that's, that's what's gonna let him win this set, but the chump burst isn't a good way to start that. Very, very, very true. Yeah, no, and getting the grab right there. Is he going to pull a bean? No, he is not. Oh, gets the super. friendship. Be a hard knockdown, safe jump opportunity here for Marvello. And he's going to get that nice positive bonus, too. He's going to take jump. Ooh. Tries for the cross-up, actually. Instead, going to get it hard punish. Ooh. Blue RC to jump out of the grab. Very nice, very nice from Marvello right there. This could now be Marvello on a match point, actually. Yeah, this could be a set right here. Oh my god, carrying him all the way to the corner right there. TR seeing to keep up that string. But Very fast TRC as well. Yeah. Throws him out of the back turn. Tries to backdash the jump in, but missed it. Ooh, using that burst to With get out the of the With the throw, corner. but burst to keep himself, you know, minimize the damage a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Now, this isn't going to kill, but you're going to be in a very bad spot over right here. And Marvello just doing Ooh. the pressure. Yeah, and, and the chip he's going to chip him out. Yeah, Marvello taking that W. Oh, nice, nice smile right there.
Now, MFCR was doing really nice, but Marvello taking it from game one, just keeping up all that pressure and managing to take the set back from him. Mm -hmm. Very very nice to see some of Marvello. Though, MFCR is not out of the game yet, because, you know, he has his loser's run to go through. I believe that was the... Was that the first game of, of winners? Uh, Top eight qualifier? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's check. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But now we have Punk versus Pink. Two, two, one letter off. <laughs> uh, Punks? He's having a pretty good showing here today. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Doing much better than I thought he would, honestly. But again, it's the thing we keep talking about. It's those fighting game fundamentals. Fundies matter, people. They can take you very far, no matter the fighting game. Yeah. Now, yeah. Um, but right. of course, it's more, I mean, I mean, Fundies, I mean, I play Smash and I play Hero, so, I mean, Fundies, sometimes you don't need Fundies. <laughs> but, you know, Punk, Punk using those Fundies to carry, and of course, you know, getting him all the way into what? Losers, Losers semis? That's pretty crazy, just by fun. But uh, right now we're just we're just waiting on Pink here. So Speaking of waiting on Pink, there he is. Oh, Pink's making his way over here. While we wait for him to get set up and do I his button you, checks, there's also uh, a good little company. Not a whole maybe maybe not a whole lot of people knew <laughs> know about. I learned about him fairly recently, but junk food. Oh yeah. Uh, junk food's got some very nice snack boxes that you can oh. get. And speaking of snack boxes, as you can see, Pink is using Pink one. Pink actually right uses one. It's a uh, it's a smaller stickless controller, but it's uh very very light, very easy to move yeah, around with. And uh, Snackbox and also has some very great peripherals you can find on their website. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, no. If I ever move to stickless, it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be a Snackbox. Yeah. Because I mean they're light, and I mean they're light and easy to use. So why not? Very easy to uh, swap the buttons in and out of. Oh as well. yeah, that too. And of course, you know the take you can take out the wire, so it'd be not wireless but easy to carry. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna see a nice Soul versus Nago here. Very excited to see how this will go. Cause I mean, what's it called? Soul, as long as he can get in, do those counter hits. But of course, as long as uh, Pink can keep up the pressure, doesn't matter what Soul does. Just make sure not to pop the bubble in an unsafe way. Yes. <laughs> Cause as we can tell, Pink has been popping the bubble on purpose, so. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Uh, now we're waiting for Pink to... Uh, I think we're just taking a short second here. Pink's still trying to get ready here. Oh, yeah. Now, of course... It if looks like any issues we were having have been resolved and... Now, of course, if you haven't already, if you didn't know, next month there will also be a Juicy Monthly on November 12th, located right here, sponsored by DreamHack, TNS, Royal Flush, all the same people we have this time. And we're going to have next time Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and then Fighting Herds. Very exciting. I've watched some of them Fighting Herds. That is a, it's a fun game to watch. Oh, I, know. It's, it's, I wish I got into it. I personally didn't, but I mean. I am excited to see some Tekken Tag 2. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to come for the uh, next monthly. But I will be here in December, assuming it's at the same location. Yeah. But I like this venue. It's, oh, it's very nice. It's yeah, spacious. No. Oh, yeah. This venue is very nice. This is where, in fact, this was my first uh, ever online or offline place a year ago. Yeah? Yeah. All right. But anyways, we're going to go into this set right here. Pink throwing out these large normals, trying to catch Punk last. I don't know. Different <laughs> from the other sets that Punk's played, he, he starts, he's starting very defensively, and he's getting caught. Yeah, he's getting caught. We have a reverse of Volcanic Viper, but Pink's just going to stick with the pressure. He's forcing Punk to burst, and that's... I don't know if I agree with that burst, because that's, that's a hero burst. Yeah, I don't no. know if you're going to win the full round off that, but Punk might make me eat my words here. Nope. But a counter hit from Pink is going to close out the first round, and that burst might be a little costly. You guys can't see it, but Pink is doing something. <laughs> Pink is in the zone. Oh, you're welcome to see it. Yeah, no, but Punk, 
pump pushing Kinks all the way to the other side of the stage right here. But Kinks like, no, I want to play neutral, damn it. And now pushing all that pressure back up to the other side of the stage and popping the bubble. That grab is going to be putting Pink in a very dangerous spot. Now, Pump's playing very defensively, even though he, I personally thought he should have capitalized on it. Whatever he can. But it's not doesn't seem like it's gonna matter because the throw is gonna close out the round. It was a good throw out of the Nago pop to establish his own form of pressure and then a good throw to close it. It was a good air dash out of the corner, but Pink's gonna Ooh, go miss the command yeah. throw. Now he's gonna get the counter hit into a throw. Okay, this is gonna and now be it's Punk's good. turn to keep you in the corner and get something started. Blocks the gold burst, that's gonna Ooh. lead to a lot of damage. Yeah, no. Oh my god, just keeping up all this pressure with these slashes, just finally getting the back dash, and then Punk automatically bursting. Now Punk was getting that wrist gauge up there pretty high, but Pink found a good time to uh, to, to get himself out of there. <laughs> Raw, super. Raw Super is going to get blocked, but and a Red RC is going to keep it safe. Still Punk, even, on the, even when he has the advantage, still playing defensively. Which, I mean, against Nago, A good can you punish into a wild oh, throw. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That throw is very scary. It's so, it's so it much damage. It's just so much damage, and it looks, it looks so aggressive. There's so much damage in this game. Yeah, no. Okay, starting Pug starting off with a counter hit right there. Gold burst. Pink loving those gold bursts today. Pink loves having meter. Which, I mean, when you have a pressure, corner pressure character, like uh, Nago, could you blame him? <laughs> this is Samantha, a PRC. Oh. Into a counter hit, and that's gonna be the ground right there. Oh my god, Pink is kidding. Healing himself. Oh my god. Oh, that 5k right there. Ooh, spacing, like King right there. It's heavy spacing. Oh my god. Good instant block from Pink, but Punk's gonna be able to keep this pressure going. Good wall. Wall slide into a wall break. I assume the Volcanic Viper is going to come out, but just a jumping heavy slot is going to do it. Uh, decides not to Red RC. Instead, keeping this corner pressure and getting the command grab. Good command yeah, throw, <laughs> but a reversal. <laughs> reversal oh. super catches oh my the God. second throw attempt for this Pink. Might, yeah. That's going to kill. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Bug saving that meter for that one reversal. He's banking on it. Getting a counter hit right here. I'm gonna do some hefty damage, but go, go, go burst. Now he gets the reversal super. And that is too. gonna catch off the gun flame. You love to see it. Oh, and gets the red, a red RC. RC, so he hits the ground. Oh, but the burst. burst. So he had a media opportunity, but the burst is gonna stop him. Ooh, tries playing it a little Command dash backwards. Yeah. Tries oh. to use those big long range buttons that Nago has. Oh, he's gonna pie. He's, oh no, he's not. I thought he popped the bubble. Just two again. Sing, saying, get closer, get hit by this. Yeah, I thought he popped the bubble for a second, but nah, he was he was managing it really nicely. Ooh, misses the two eight. Yeah. With another two eight. Jesus. He's waiting for Punk to go airborne, but he's just not. Think like Punk's staying very grounded. Up. Oh. Does not punish the Volcanic Viper. Bandit Bringer gonna Ooh. be blocked. Volcanic Viper. No. What? what is this defense from Punk? I gotta stop yelling. I'm gonna break the mic. Oh, and the bubble. And the pop. Oh my God. This is gonna be very. Bandit Bringer. <laughs> <laughs> Punk kind of getting away with one there. <laughs> <laughs> Both players just flubbing. Missing, <laughs> missing a lot of punish opportunities, but okay, we got 2-0 for Punk. Jesus Christ. Punk has been calling out a lot of a lot of uh, piece of coaching with that move. Another whiff punish. Jesus. Punk's just, he's, he's finding his groove here. Getting a lot of punishes, getting a lot of counters. Ooh, first in the, the corner, he's gonna pop, pop. he's gonna punish the this pop, is, yeah, and that's gonna be round. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, when you pop the bubble with that wall, Punk on no. set point. Yeah. For the first game of top eight winners. Ooh, that reversal, we're gonna put in, push Pink all the way into the right corner. Pink's saying no, I want a few hits, but 
Hunt does not care. Oh my Fafnir god. Fafnir is going to establish some pressure here. Fafnir's are scary. <laughs> Fafnir's very scary. It's something like Garuda. Getting hit by that, you just feel scared. Even if you block it. Oh. Misses the throw. And Wild oh. throw into the corner. Red RC, but Pink That's did have a burst. Oh, yeah. Another red RC from Pink, and are we going to push it to a round three? Oh, maybe. Okay. There All right. Just... A far slash is going to get us to round three here. Pink still brings the bracket. <laughs> Does he have the determination? Yeah, Pink definitely. Oh, who plays the round better? Now, Pink, of course, playing around these big normals. So, being on the last game right here, it's going to have to reverse 3 0 right here. Which, I mean, is definitely possible. Definitely possible for Pink, as very well for Anaga. Ooh, doesn't get their FD on that attack here. Gonna take a lot of chip damage. Ooh, getting a heavy conversion on here. Not wall breaking and missing the command Misses the command throw. Ooh. We're gonna super is gonna be big damage for Pink. Ooh. Still an even game, by the way. And Pink is about to pop here. The blood game is getting very high, but oh. it's going back down. Oh, he's going to have to Watch the fast oh. there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. That had me on the edge of my seat. 2S in the 5K is going to close out that round. Ooh, that was scary. Now we're going to see a game four right here. Oh, my God. Let's right, we'll see if Pink can keep this momentum going. Trying to get a frame trap. That worked though. Punk, yeah, Punk just trying to bait King out, trying to do any unsafe move. Catching him on it too. Ooh, the counter hit, but bursting immediately. Very aggressive. Ooh, you want to see a heavy conversion. <laughs> I mean, that was just some that was just some fundamental gameplay from Funny. Yeah. <laughs> Fundy, again. <laughs> Another whiff on it. Ooh. Pink hit by the gunflame right there. And Pink just back into the corner. He's getting put in this position a lot. Fights his way out of it. Oh, counter hit. Yep, counter hit. Volcanic Viper, the heavy side Volcanic Viper. Side 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 too. RC it, Ooh, blocking that. Blocks the burst, that burst nice and hit. that is going to be set. Yeah. Punk. Moving on, <laughs> Punk? Pink has another chance. Oh yeah, Pink. I mean, <laughs> Pink. Pink. Thankfully, not getting out of the bracket here. Moving down the losers, Punk is being carried by the fundies. Fundies are impressive. important people. Very yeah. impressive. I mean, this isn't even just like one of the main games he plays. Well, yeah, one of. He kind of just plays everything. <laughs> he plays and hopes he plays it right. <laughs> But uh, next we're going to see Ferno in Zintai. You know, Ferno playing that nice Axel. We're going to see if he is able to stay in the bracket here and move up to loser's quarters. Ooh. Now Pink does get a, another chance to come back, maybe even get a run back against Punk later this tournament. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see Pink and Punk play again. Yeah. I think Pink would be able to make those adjustments because he started to. He started to make those adjustments. Oh, yeah. they he were, he, he was looking clean. He just didn't have enough time, you know. Yeah, no. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to follow Juicy Game Night on all the socials so you don't miss out on anything. On Twitch, that on YouTube, time. on Twitter, on Facebook. I believe, I don't know if they have an Instagram. They have an Instagram. They also have an Instagram, <laughs> apparently. I actually need to follow that. But make sure to follow on everything so you don't miss out on anything. Anyways, we're going to see, you know, we're going to see an Axel Low versus a, I forget who. Oh, yeah, Zintai oh, plays Viking. Viking. Okay. Viking's a, a character I, I feel like I see more online Biken. rather than in offline tournaments. I mean, yeah, but you start to see more pro, pro players gravitating. I mean, Recently. I mean, the RPS nature that Biken <laughs> puts into every matchup <laughs> yeah. is insane. I mean, recently, what, Lord Knight? Uh, Lord Knight switched to Biken. Yeah, Lord Knight switched to Biken. I think a few other characters, a 
few other players also moved to Viking. They're more than likely because Viking is getting, people are starting to learn how to play Viking a little more efficiently in every matchup. And Viking is a scary character with oh, that, yeah. with that uh, parry that she has. If you don't, and especially if you don't play, if you don't win the RPS match, you're dead. You're just dead. It just feels like most of the Viking matchup is just mental. Yeah. If you can guess when she's going to throw that parry out, you win. I, mean, I have a friend that plays Viking, and uh, my safe jumps are no longer safe. <laughs> yeah, no. It's so it takes out a, a big part of the Giovanna toolkit. I know. But it, that's but not even accounting for other characters that, like, she can stand on the other side of the screen and parry, and Axel is – his move's going to get parried. I don't think he's going to get smoked by it. Yeah, no, but, I don't uh, think he actually gets hit. Unless he does, in which case that is actually stupid. <laughs> but <laughs> no, I don't believe like this is like Grappler's parry from CNF. I don't think I don't think Bike can teleports across the screen. Yeah. Once again, we're letting the intros rock. I love Axel's intro. All the intros are so cool, man. I think Axel and Eno are two of my favorite intros that coming like, through the portals. I also like Bikens because you know she has the. Uh, What's it called? Axel. What's the style of movie? Yes, I forget what it's called. Right. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like the black and white movies. Yeah, black and white. It's very cool. But anyways, we're going to see. Now, of course, Viking also has her JS, which is a very far, like it's one of the best JS. poking JS's. tool, yeah. yeah. But of course, Not only that, but she has the in-air overhead. That's what we just saw. Yeah. Perno had a good block on it, bursting early to get Viking off of him, because if Viking gets into throw range and... <laughs> Ties up. that rope around you. Have fun. <laughs> you are right where she wants you for the rest of the match. Oh my god. He is just juggling Zentai across the Misses stage. Misses the air throw. Yeah, of course, you know. Oh, you're getting you're Now getting here tied. it is. Ooh, blocking the overhead, but getting hit by that blow. Now you're going to get a ton of damage on you. Wins the RPS match, though. <laughs> Right now, Ferno is still at a pretty decent place. Got a throw, and he's going to get the win. Nice. He's going to get the round. We love to see it. Moving on to round two here. Ferno is applying insane pressure. Good yeah. answer here. Axel Bomber is going to get some more damage here. Yeah. You know, Ferno can keep up this insane pressure. He'll, he's going to win this very easily. But of course, you know, Zinzai having all of Viking's crazy tools. Oh, finally. And here's the command throw, and we're going to super. Oh, I want to see it. I want to see it. I'm going to find it. Blocks. I actually don't know how that super works. Uh, I, I believe if you get hit by it, it freezes you in place. Like ah, Time, okay, Warrior. Yeah. Time Warrior from, or Timeless Warrior from you know. I assume, I assume that's how it works. I personally didn't know, but. Oh, my but God. But regardless, Zintai didn't get hit by it, and it did not affect his game plan at all that round. <laughs> yeah. And Zintai is going to close it out. Round three here in game number two. Ooh, or game number one, excuse yeah. me. <laughs> it's fine though. Yeah, no. Trying to catch him, trying to catch Viking with that anti air, but you know, he's like not falling through. There's that in air overhead. Ooh. Another one. Getting the grab right there. They're going to get tied and get over. Ooh. Aggressive <laughs> burst, keep him in the corner. Yeah. Gonna use the mat to get a wall splat. We're going to get a wall break. Yeah, no. Especially using that burst to untie yourself. Because he was using that tie effectively. Ooh, blocking that super. But, you know, it's nice that that super pushes you away. Pushes it pushes you away. you away, but you can jump the second hit. That's, that is true. I forget about that sometimes. I just As long as you block that first hit, if you, you can jump the second one and get a clean punish. I forget about that. I just FD in and call it a day. <laughs> Not a bad idea, but you know, sometimes it makes or breaks the uh, the matchup. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, I played. We both played here, so we know. This. Ooh, that There's parry. the parry. There's the big damage coming out. See, you know what's it's scary about a uh, Viking's parry? It doesn't matter how much you, how, how like strong the move is, it will do the same amount. So if you do a very strong move, like let's say you do Garuda Impact at full charge, like it's gonna do the same amount. So you know, not too scary, but if you do like what, uh, a like a 5P, it's gonna do like too much damage. It's gonna do so much damage. Yeah. Ferno's in a very precarious position here, but as long as he can keep playing the zoning game. I mean, that's what you do with Axel, right? Oh, that's tech. Good right throw there. tech. Ooh, converging off that counter hit. Oh my god, he... Oh, okay. That was like... 
<laughs> I'm not sure what Ferno was going for, but... Ferno just wants to, wants to say hi. Didn't work, though. <laughs> Inside does not get scared but by the men. Oh, uh, Ferno still he's playing at relatively the same speed as Zintai. Yeah, no. I mean And every time he holds forward, he's not Can we get a side step? He's that not like fun. dash blocking. Oh. Actually I know it's a little hard to on spike him, but he's not being he's not being able to walk forward block, walk forward block, which is gonna allow him to close the gap. And it doesn't matter that you have a gun, he has a sickle. <laughs> I, I wish, dude. If I if I ever like learn how to use weapons, I will. I want to. I want to know how to use sickles like that, man. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> but uh, ooh, that good air, air throw. Ooh, that counter hit. We're gonna get a nice conversion block. But, but Jintai was gonna use his turn. Almost use the mat to start something. Good block on the overhead. Dash forward red RC. Doesn't get the red RC hit, but he's still close enough to convert. Yeah. Ooh, the red RC into an overhead right there. Instant overhead is very scary. That is very Viking. scary. It's a, hard, it's a hard input, but it's a very strong tool that Viking has. Yeah. Ooh, and getting that Doesn't gold burst. Doesn't block the gold burst now. <laughs> Jumping Spends over. 50 meter instantly. No longer in overdrive or RC range, but we're close. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Like in it. He's gonna oh my shoot God. another gun. Another firework coming out. Oh my god. Both both players here, they're just biding their time. They're both he's, looking for an he's opening. He's gonna get a negative. Okay, no, he's done that. Okay, there we go. Ferno gets the game right there. Thank god. <laughs> I love CFL FTC now. Ooh, that early burst right there. Very one one here in the set. Game number three. Both players starting off swinging. Oh yeah. Kind of kind of guy she's leading, putting him into the situation. Where he's gonna get a box. This guy just trying to get in. Ooh, and that grab attack right now. Oh my god. The Lots defense from Ferno is very impressive. Zintai throwing up all kinds of moves, but Ferno got to be hit by it. It does not of them. matter the mix. Ferno's defense is solid. He's going to connect on the super. Ferno that will not get schmicked. But he is going to get countered. That's true. And that's scary. Oh my. Zintai uses the burst. Not a bad burst, you know, because both of you guys have very low health, but the overhead's going to get it right there. Now you've lost your burst. What are you going to do? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Trying to get for the cross up. Doesn't work, though. Jintai's just going to run up grab. Okay. Inferno's going to grab him right back. Good throw tech there. Tries to reapply that. Not Whoa! Blocks that the burst. Uses PRC to be able to block that burst there. Oh my god, Chester. Bro, to... oh, PRC is hard to do. Take away all that in lag. And Ferno's just using his full screen advantage that Axel gets. He tries to put him in the fan. Ferno is just doing Axel things, and it is working. Never mind. <laughs> There's the follow up attack. It does so much damage. Zintai's finding his openings. I don't know. He's getting hit a lot, but unfortunately, Biken just hits harder than Axel. There's that jumping slash yeah. we were talking about earlier into the 2 1 4. <laughs> yeah, no. Or it's the 2 3 6, I believe. Or no, sorry. 6 2 3, I believe, is the input for that uh, for that overhead. Notation though. <laughs> like, I, gotta, like, I don't have a keyboard in front of me. I gotta look <laughs> down at my keyboard every time I try to say notation. Oh, he's gonna get that super. It's not gonna kill, is it? No, it's no, not. But, of he, the but he is one touch. He was still on a rope there, so he had a good and we're tied around once again. Oh my god. This is not where you wanna be as Ashel against any character, let alone Viking. Okay. Ooh, but and a good the good command side. throw. You'd love to see it. Ferno might bring this back actually. 
Ooh, PRC. PRC. Over the and the up. overhead. Remember, that overhead hits front and back. Yeah, no. that cross up. That move is crazy. <laughs> Way too good. Either way, though, we're going to move on to a solid, what, game, game three? Yeah. Zintai has a chance four, to uh, knock Ferno out here. Oh my god, that air grab, though. Good air throw to start it from Ferno. Ooh, and then the tie. A trip in the odds right there. Ooh, heavy counter. I'm okay with that burst there. Yeah, I mean... Normally spending burst super early on and around can be detrimental, but for Axel, you know, you want to keep that long range. Yeah. But of course, Zintai's saving his burst right now. Usually Axels are very uncomfortable when someone gets on top of them. Inferno looks like he's doing pretty okay whenever Zintai tries to close the gap. He's found a good way to get out of pressure several times in this matchup when Zintai's been in his face. <laughs> and you know, Axel having full meter, he messes up a on the A good counter hit, and it's gonna... Woo! I didn't even know. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't seen enough Axel to know that was a combo. <laughs> you learn you learn stuff every day. Good backdash and a whiff on it. Ooh, gets that, gets that jet, JS right there. Gets a JS for the counter hit, but wasn't close enough to follow up with anything. Ooh. Oh my god, just keep Xintai away as much as he can in order to get these bots, these explosions. And the air throw, who knows? Good air throw, Xintai is on one touch. PRC, good throw tech. Oh my god. He's just trying to get a quick overhead. Ferno's just waiting for Zintai to whip. He's trying to bait out a whip here. I'm just saying. Bait out a button, force a whip on it. And Zintai's in a danger position right here. Ooh, but that's oh, It doesn't case. matter. He's just got 5k to the face. Yep. And we go on to game number five here in this top eight losers. This is a very tense loser is a loser match right here. Dual one. I feel like every match we see from here on out is gonna go is gonna go the distance. It is gonna go the it's gonna go the extra mile. Which I mean, I'm down for. Sure it's a late night, but I mean we got a Sunday tomorrow, so <laughs> why not? Either way though, you know, since I applying the corner pressure right here. Red R sees that follow-up so he doesn't get put minus. Ooh, gets the grab too. Good grab, and Zintai's in a very comfortable position. Yep. He's gonna just close it out with that overhead string. Yeah, no. Getting getting tied like that is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> you get tied and that's where that RTS begins. Ooh, he and counter hit, and he's tied up, and then this is gonna, just gonna lead to a big long string for Biken. Oh, oh supers! It's not going to kill, it's but it's going to be very me. close. Yeah. Uh, and oh, he yeah, had bursting. first magic pixel. I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> having the magic pixel. Oh, oh okay. That was a good Kabari. Yeah, that that claw gang and getting that kill right there. That was very, very nice, nice from Ferno. Very nice from both Ferno and Zintai. That's the both of them. Both are this is now. where Ferno's tournament run ends. Zintai is going to move on and top eight losers. Yeah, no. That was a very tense match. And but our mm. next match is going to be Beefy, Beefy and the Creator. Beefy, Manatee, and Creator? Yeah. It's going to be nice to see. You know, we get to see a Gold Lewis versus... I forget who Creator. Geo. Geo. Creator oh plays Geo. Creator, uh, he's, you know, we've, we've been talking, and he's been teaching me some stuff. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not gonna to, lie. Yeah. I use some of those things against you today, and that's why. I, I, <laughs> that's I, what I, happened. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> because last month when we played, ho, oh, you uh, you rolled me, and I was <laughs> like, it's my turn. Yeah, no. Hey. Yeah, no. I, 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 the geo player that I'm used to talking to is ABA. So. Not spoken to ABA. Yeah. But ABA isn't here for this. But yeah, no. But uh. Creator here is a very solid Giovanna player. He has a very solid game plan going in. He uh he plays a little more on the defensive side for Giovanna. He he really wants to create opportunities for you to whiff punish and 
Yeah, I mean, for him to whiff punish, sorry, and he, he wants to just create openings for himself. But he can turn it on when he needs to and play that normal rushdown that Giovanna's known for. I mean, yeah, because, like, Giovanna, I mean, you can technically play two styles, you know. Play it safe, play it, uh, hey, I want to make sure I get as many opening counter hits as much as possible. Or I can play, hey, Ooga Booga. H slash into 214K. You really can play Gorilla with Geo, Geo if you need to, but <laughs> finding a good balance between those two play styles is, is what really makes the character scary, and I feel like Creator's found a good balance between them. Yeah. And we're about to see here, you know, dealing with the... Uh, we'll see how he deals with the Gold Lewis, though. Yeah. If you, if you let Beefy as a turn, you're never getting that turn back. But as we talked about with the MFCR matchup, back dashing the Behemoths is going to be the way to beat Gold Lewis, and Geo's dashes are very scary, but we're going to start with a 5K and a 6P and a 2 one more, and this is the Geo pressure that we're all used on display. To. Exactly. <laughs> Trying to now get the counter. drone gave him a little bit of uh, spacing there, but we're just going to spiral arrow and keep the pressure. and. DP for a counter hit. Now we get a counter hit on that DP. It oh leads God. to stuff like this. It leads to a combo. It leads oh to an God. easy super into a wall break. I need to learn from this man. Oh my God. Ooh, that counter hit. That's going to be the. Now that. That 5k 6p 214. That's a frame trap. Oh, I know. And he, uh. DP got caught by it. Oh, okay. Using that burst to get out of whatever gold. Whatever people was trying He's to do. He's going to dash up there. throw. Yeah, no, I I love Geo's dash. It's like, come on, you know, you can just push them. Even now, you can just spam them. And now, Creator's going for the the, uh, the strike throw playstyle of Geo. Gets the charge dust into another wall break, and the second charge dust is going to kill him. Yeah, no. That was a very fast game one over to Creator. Yeah, no. I'm gonna say something. Uh, something, something about Geo Pressure. I will come back to me. But <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go into game two here. Yeah, Creator's playing really nicely. Now we're changing up the round star here, and with a 2D from Geo, is gonna catch Gold Lewis. Ooh, and that blocks the first. Ooh, give me that 2K. Just keep against. Okay, listen. When you play Geo, do you use uh, do you, do you map a dash to a button for Geo? I do. Yes. I, I have a dash macro. Yes, you have. I I'm. I will. It feels this. like dash macros were made for Geo. Yes, <laughs> you need to have dash macro when it comes to Geo because if you don't, doing all these inputs would be <laughs> insane. Hard. But now PP is gonna have his turn finally. He's gonna be put in the corner with all. Back of dash from the behemoth in the corner. It's possible, but it's very, very tight window. 6P on the other hand, that's a much safer option. <laughs> 6P, it doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> As we can tell, now PP is back in the corner. Utilizing the PRC to take his turn back. That risk gauge is getting higher on Gold Lewis. Oh, yeah. But one behemoth block, and we're already a quarter away filled on the risk. And there we go. One touch is all he needs. Oh, um, one touch man. Uh, <laughs> moving into this third round right here. Yeah. Gritter seems to be, you know, moving it around, you know. But of course... But this is what I was talking about earlier. He's found a good balance between aggression and defense. Because in that first round, he was all aggression. And now, he played a little defensively off round start. And he's already got a wall break. And Gold Lewis is already down. Less than 25. Exactly. Yeah, no. We're going to see... A great balance from Creator today. But, okay, having a burst, I was going to say, like, oh, this is going to be really bad, you know, letting, letting him get the pressure. Oh, reversal super? Oh, and it's going to hit. Counter. I saw it. BP threw his head back. He knew he had pressed a button. Yeah, no. And even if it didn't hurt, hit, he could have uh, RC'd it backwards. He had it. Yeah, he had enough tension to be able to RC it. It was really nice. Anyways. We see Beefy. Beefy thinking about what he needs to do next round. Our game. Creator could have a really good team for you here. Some of are already up 2 0 in the set. It was a good first. Oh, yeah. 2 1 4 is going to lead to a knockdown. It's going to lead to even hit. more pressure. But unfortunately, Creator still found a way to catch him even after the burst. He keeps the pressure on. PRC keeps his turn. Ooh, trying to go for a counter hit. Doesn't work. This is a 5 key. Jesus Christ. He does not care. 
He did miss the OTG on the close left, though, but we're going to red RC. It's not going to matter. We're going to wall break, and that is round one over to creator. Again, starting with the 2D, and it's just going to punish that button that Gold Delish tried to hit. Ooh, and the 2 All right, he's in air, 236. It has two hits, so it's oh, yeah. hit by 5K into the 236. It's going to pick you up and spit you out. And Creator is just starting to side switches. There's another one. And he's just making beef to just guess what he's going to do. A nice little tap 5D for the overhead. Oh, my God. This is, yeah. And Creator just did not let him play the game. A perfect Creator. to win the set. <laughs> Creator did not let that slide. Yeah, A no. good, very good and convincing 3-0. Oh, oh, yeah, no. Creator mastering all of what Giovanna has to offer here. And moving up. If you want to know how to play Gio, you just watch that set. You just just watch any set that Creator plays. And he, he utilizes Gio to her full potential. Oh, yeah, no. Anyways, but now we're going to have MFCR versus Zintai right here. Leo versus Biken. I, yeah, no, I I don't really know how this matchup would go. Because, I mean, you have the left-right mix-ups, and then you have the RPS matches. So Both players just getting ready here. So for any new people turning it, tuning in, just so everyone's aware, if you use promo code JUICY30, you get 30% off towards your ticket towards DreamHack Atlanta. Yes, sir. And also, the winner of this tournament gets a free ticket. Gets a free ticket to DreamHack Atlanta. And by the way, that promo code only lasts tonight and tomorrow. And tomorrow. So make sure you use it while you can, because, I mean, 30% off a ticket, that's pretty nice. <laughs> and uh, I believe next month, on November 19th, we have Invite Hell 2, which oh is the... Central and South Florida Invitational for top two at this tournament. They get invites towards that tournament. It's a $750 prize pool, so you're going to see some. You're going to see some players you're there. You're going to see gonna some top level Guilty Gear here in Florida. Hot, hot sets all day, every day during that. They're in invite hell too, right there. Now there only are a couple tournaments that qualify for that invite hell, and that is this monthly. You have Miramar Masher on October 18th, I believe that says. Two Flins. I don't know if Flins is specifically, but it's on the 23rd and 30th. Flins is a tournament over in South Florida. That's actually where Creator's from. He is part of the ah. Flins gaming team as well as Marvello and Turb. Ah, well. For a lot of these guys from South Florida, they actually play there very frequently. Yeah, no, SFL. I mean, I'm aware of a CFL guy. I actually so. haven't seen, I don't think four face buttons is here, but that's another, that's a May player from down in so South Florida. <laughs> that's uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> pretty good May. <laughs> Wow, May that use his brain? Crazy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Leo the four face can mix you up just by standing there. <laughs> the mental mix up the is The mental crazy. mix that that man <laughs> possesses. But, We're uh, going to get right into it here now yeah, that both no. players are ready. Uh, Leo versus Bike, and I'm very excited to see how this match goes. With two very great players. You know, champion of last month's man, tourney versus a very good bike. I'm just very excited to see how this goes. I think by starting it off strong. I feel like the normal bike in game plan of just stay on top of your opponent is a little more prevalent here in this case because Leo has a lot of a similar game plan. As we're seeing, Zintai is controlling the game a good burst from MSCR. Yeah, no. Blocking the overhead, but he's going to get a 2D. Using that RC to block that burst right there. Gonna get a really nice conversion here. He gets Maybe. two hits. I like how MSCR is utilizing the back turn. He's getting two hits to extend the combo and canceling out of it to get those long range slashes that Leo has. Yeah. And the super's gonna take the first round right here. Yeah, the Zintai is gonna combo into that super. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, you know. Zintai's using all his all of this distance that Viking can just produce, you know, with her long sword and her chain and whatnot. Now super into the wall break. Zintai sitting very nice in this game, in this round number two here. MFCR just needs to stay composed, but bashing 2P into 5K is going to get the perfect. It's going to get game one over Zintai. Yeah, now we're going to see 
Moving on to the next ma next game right here. If Zendai can keep this this pressure up, he he's gonna have a very nice very nice set right here. But off of one with punish, MSCR is getting a ton of mileage. Yeah, already with a wall break, and Zentai is already less than 25% health. So you can't sleep on anyone here. Anyone here on this top eight, you cannot sleep on. You expect if you give anyone an inch, they're going to take a mile in these oh, matchups. Yeah. And a flash kick into the red RC that we've seen earlier in this tournament, but he's going to miss the second hit. Oh, oh, and a raw super is going to catch him. Yeah, no, I, I looked over at MSCR to see if he reacted, and he didn't. I was like, oh, you know, he so didn't. So flash get it. kick's going to clash into a dash RC and a throw to close out that round. Very nice, he's done. All right, we're going to see the throw check. Good throw check. I can actually get the first hit right there. Ooh, getting that. Ooh, the flash kick. Getting it right there. So, Try to get the Despite everything that's happened today in this tournament, MSCR getting that flash kick blocked so many times, he's still using it. It's still part of his game plan, and Zentai is not adapting to that. <laughs> Two parries in a row. Very key. I think he parried the RC, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's one. Uh, Another flash kick is gonna punish. MCR buffs and flash kick. Oh, there's the parry. We're finally gonna see the parry to punish the back turn, and the Kabari is not gonna close out the round. Thankfully, MCR still has a chance. Back turn and oh, good block on the burst. God. Very good patience from MCR. Very nicely done from MCR right there. Showing a. Just showing what he can do, you know. For uh, one round does not show what you can do all the time. Obviously shown right here by MCR. Moving into this third game right here though. Ooh, now MFCR just kind of running away with this round, but a throw into the corner is going to tie him up. But it's a Leo, so it doesn't matter that he gets tied <laughs> up by Bike, and Leo's just going to keep doing what he does best. That's hitting buttons. The more buttons you hit, the better chance you have. I believe MFCR is blocking here, so he's not. Okay. He pressed a button, so Zentai is going to get some damage out here, and both yeah. characters, one touch. He's been pressing buttons every single time that Ross Super comes out. Oh. Another 2P, missed the 2S. Jumping D is going to instant block it, but a flash, flash kick, kick, another yeah. flash kick. Zentai is just not adapting to these flash kicks. He loves the flash kicks, man. And they're working out every time. It's a good time. tool that Leo has. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that parry right there. Ooh, that hefty amount of damage. It's a flash kick saving him from the over. Throwing out the fireballs. MFCR changing his plan up a little bit. He's playing more spacing. Yeah, no. He's waiting for Zintai to come to him, but a, finally a block on a flash kick almost led to big damage, but an SCR had burst. A heavy fireball and then a throw test. Does not take this throw. We're in back turn stance for Leo, but the overhead is going to hit. Ooh, Another overhead is going to hit. Red RC and a full combo into a wall break kill for Zintai. Very nicely done for Zintai right here, bringing it to a round three. Oh my god. He went for the dash up 2D, it looks like, but it whipped. And now getting that back turn right here. You're going to see a wall, sweet wall break from an FCR and getting a positive bonus. Being able to. Throwing out those slash fireballs, they move so much faster. Yeah, no, it's very scary. Just staying in back turn. He stayed in back turn for a very long time there. I'm surprised we didn't see a parry attempt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, I forget. Uh, Everyone forgets he's got a parry. And then you get and hit by it. And then you get hit by it. <laughs> like, damn. Every time I play Leo, I go, oh, yeah, he has a, he has a parry. He didn't do that. I forget. <laughs> oh, he tried to go for the flash kick, but another <laughs> flash kick as soon as he lands. Bro, Zint, you can see Zentai's face. He was like, whoa, what's that? That was, that was, I'm I didn't surprised know he was able to charge a second one at that time. <laughs> hey, charge characters. Right? I could never. See, that's why you go stick with right? <laughs> Ooh. going to be a very nice combo right here. Oh. Over, like, 70% of his That was off a round start. <laughs> that wasn't even, that was one hit. 
and it led to a 10 hit combo and almost killed. And just the, raw, the wake up super is gonna kill. What just happened? Uh, he, he went demon mode. <laughs> Leo, Leo remembered all the fallen comrades and went demon mode. <laughs> But Zenkai's gonna rip his back. Doesn't out. look like it's phased Zenkai at all. He's gonna start his own yeah. pressure, but a flash kick's gonna counter hit and get him out of the corner. Yeah, no. Ooh, that PRC. But Another flash kick one. <laughs> Got the heavy fireball for some pressure, but Zenkai is actually gonna get the throw. Oh. And they're both gonna whiff throw in each other's faces. Oh, the, the, the good 60. Yeah, I believe it's 60. Yeah, it's a 60. His 60 is really nice. It's over. <laughs> Using that that mat to cover the jump in, he's gonna he's gonna be able to punish the flash kick. Yeah, no. Zintai looks like he's adapting a little bit. He's adapting a little slow. Yeah, no. I mean, but better late than never, you know, <laughs> yeah. because uh, MSCR is on. Set point here. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you don't adapt now, you're you're not gonna have time to adapt. <laughs> a good throw off the two D. No, tries to go for that overhead. I'm just not falling for it. A and good jumping D finds a way to get himself in there. Ooh, we're gonna see a heavy hit right here. And that's gonna yeah. kill. And MFCR is going to move on, and unfortunately, Zintai's tournament run comes to an end. Zintai did really well, though. I mean, he, he was you saw him adapting near the end. He just didn't have enough time to fully get him on the down play. But MFCR, he stayed composed. He executed his game plan, and he didn't change anything up despite other matches. I think next we're going to see is Pink versus Creator. I don't want to root against So we're going to see Geo versus Nago. And I've seen these two play some, some first attends and online. And um it 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 comes down to it. They go they go the distance. I mean lore wise, if you if you watch the story, you know, Geo Geo pulls out uh, pulls it out just by a little. But point is I I gotta root against the a good got, Geo player or I gotta root against a good friend. So I don't know who I've gotta root against my mentor or Anago, so it's an easy choice for me. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about fair, you. <laughs> fair, true. Yeah, no. Honestly, I'm just very excited to see how uh, creators dances around, you know, Nago's large normals. Because if if you can't dance around them and you can't win the 50-50s, good luck. <laughs> good luck, friend. I mean, this is creator. We OG. saw what creator's capable of with Giovanna, but we've also understand the hard-hitting nature of a Nagariyuki. So oh, yeah. we're going to see if Creator leans a little more on that defensive style that I was talking about earlier that he is very good at as well as playing very aggressive, or if Pink is just going to keep executing the game plan he's got of just gold bursting in everyone's face and trying to get that meter. Yeah, I know. I mean, as you could tell, I, I, I honestly, I haven't seen Pink do this as much as, like, last month, I barely saw him try going for gold burst, and now he's just constantly he's going been, for he's it. Been switch, he's been switching up his play style a little bit. He's getting a little more aggressive. He's, he's getting a little more ballsy with some of his plays, and like we saw earlier, resources aren't really a thing to him. He's using his gold burst very aggressively to make sure he gets his meter. Yeah. He but would rather use his resources offensively than just like hold on to them and then die with them. Exactly. But uh, we're gonna see here. Just either, either Pink getting the, hitting those crazy combos and not losing the 50-50 and dealing with the block strings that Creator will put out, or Creator dancing around those normals and creating those crazy, crazy block strings that. Pink might not be able to adapt to. We're going to find out this match, though. Now, of course, we're rolling into the match here. Oh, both players fist bump, and here it's, we it's, go. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, bit tired, though, but we're excited. <laughs> can't be tired. It's guilty here. Ah, oh, you're right. They didn't let the intro roll out. Worst, worst set in top eight ever. <laughs> That's fine. Both players want to get to it. They want to get to the SmackDown that this matchup's going to be. Oh, yeah. No, I don't blame 
Ooh. Trader was waiting for his moment. He found it. He got a jumping heavy slash into a far slash. Ooh. Pink is just swinging his sword and saying, if you walk into this, it's not my fault. Exactly. If you walk into this, if you walk into the game, if you get swung on, that's your fault. Ooh, Good that side up. switch. That was the side switch I was talking about earlier, and he's going to throw you right back into the corner. Ooh, it's the 2K for the OTG, puts him into the corner a little further. PRC to take his turn back. Ooh, and a super to break the wall. Ooh. And it's going and to it's kill. Good. Very nice. I mean, you know, Giovanna having that little buff with the meter, it does help, surprisingly. More than you'd expect. Oh, okay. But there's the <laughs> big damage we can expect out of Nago off a round start, but we're going to get oh. the 5D. There's no burst on deck, so if he hits this full combo, which he's going to, this is a, it's just as much damage. Oh my god. Oh! Now, that was a very nice reaction from this right there. Oh, misses, misses the 2 age. Good PRC, baits out the burst, and he's going to close out the first. Very nicely done from Creator right there. That's what I'm talking about. He can turn it on when he needs to. He can, hey, he can play aggressive. I never doubted the man for a second. Not getting it wrong. Oh, and getting but that gold <laughs> Round start gold burst from Paint when he gives him the meter that he loves to play with. A red RC to keep his pressure going. But you know. Oh, I think, and a super, I think, I think Creator pressed. He, oh, did no, not. he did not. Very nice. Ooh, trying, trying all this heavy pressure right here. Oh. Now you can react when when Geo has that startup of the of yeah, spiral man. arrow, but it's just you just it, don't want to press. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's scary, right? Like, I mean, it's a scary thing. But if you're mashing, you can you can stop her from doing that, and then she has no more pressure because she is plus after the kick. Oh, and yeah. with that plus, it's going to be a strike throw. And just a close slash is going to close it yeah. out after the red RC. Okay, now we're gonna see Geo having her burst right now. Ooh, okay. Once again, we get that start counter hit. I think he's going for an instant 5H, but he's not having any of that. Yeah, no. I would have expected to take the play very aggressively right now. We got the dash up 5K into the frame trap combo that gives you the hard knockdown that Geo loves to get. Ooh, I'm expecting the gold burst very soon. Actually, no, I like. I don't think he's going to burst. Yeah, it's, it's he's going to look for a way to just close it out. He just yeah. needs a touch. He's going to use his burst a little more defensively here, I feel. Yeah, no, he's playing like, very he's defensively. He's spacing. He's waiting. And okay. Then 60. It's the 60. It's going to chop you right in the mouth. But now, I'm expecting gold burst. Oh, the counter hit right there. Very nicely done. Trying to get creator to do any move just to bait him out, but not letting it happen. Not letting it slide. Ooh, finally a defensive burst. <laughs> yeah, it was a good jumping heavy slash to get himself in there, but he's gonna just, doesn't get a hit on the burst, but he oh. doesn't punish. He's gonna punish the pop, and it's gonna be a good amount of damage. Pink is one touch now. Ooh, that grab though, this might be it right here. Yeah, I think Gold Ball is getting that down, or 2S. Very nice with that from Creator here. Just taking his time, just spacing, playing the matchup the way he wants to. Even when he's getting hit with that ridiculous Nago combo off round start, he's just he's he's just not letting it get to him, he's taking his time. I'm going back to character select here. I don't think either of them have pockets. <laughs> no, I think this is more of just a... Re mind refresh. Yeah, mind it's refresh. more of just a take a breath, reset. You see it happen sometimes, you know? Those creators up 2-0 here. Nagori Yuki. Yeah, we're not going to switch it up. Yeah. Nothing's changed. He just needed a breather. We're going to be switching up colors, though. Hey, the colors are very important. We know we're not going to switch up. Hey, pink. Switch. pink is pink. Come on. We know we're not switching. He has the pink snack box. The pink hair, the pink nago. Everything is color coordinated. But he's wearing a purple shirt. This was in the I think the pink shirt was in the wash. Still starts <laughs> with a P. <laughs> starts, so we're, starts with We're yeah. we're close ish. <laughs> anyway, moving into the game three right here. Instant five H is gonna connect this time. And an instant burst too. Ooh. Another a burst coming out from Crater as well. He can't burst though. <laughs> Oh my god, he's now trying I to get it. I don't hit. know if Creator could have punished there. I think he had the opportunity to be able to throw. 
I mean, I personally don't know. I think. But Casey's just holding that block, being patient, wasn't a bad idea. A second pop in the same round. He just does not care. He's going all in right now. Good PRC to back backdash RC to dodge the six P, and he's gonna two K it. Oh. Okay. Bro, someone forgot to de DC, no! Somebody forgot to disconnect the Somebody controller. <laughs> Pro tip of the day, disconnect your controllers, everyone. Now, the thing is, though, because that was round start, I don't think it matters. Jesus. Man, you guys got to desync your controllers. Come on. Don't don't do this at the locals, man. Yeah, we got two dual shocks that are SMH. connected still. Use a wire. Use use your wires to load the DC. <laughs> Too bad. Okay, we're back to the game. <laughs> Thank God that was a round start and not in the middle of that. Because that was in the middle of a combo. That could have been a lot worse. So both players just kind of step back and kind of reset the round start. I mean, it's not like it's going to go to timeout, so. <laughs> no, but that's still unfortunate. You got to yeah. remember to disconnect your pad. Please, please disconnect pads. Or if they exist, wireless uh, Ooh, and that I don't know if those exist. I hope they do not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I think very narrowly. But Pink's got him in the corner now. He's got his own Man. pressure. But he whisked the command throw. Trying to keep his blood gauge on and Blocks the first. Oh, this might be it right he's here. He's not going to kill. And he's one more combo. Yeah, the and, the spot, and the jumping K. The, and the 2 3 6 pickup. That's going to be it. Creator's going to move on know, right some here. Words were exchanged. I'm not sure what just happened. Yeah, I don't know. But. Now we are going to see... Creator, moving on. Yeah, Pink no. with a very good showing in today's tournament. I believe this is winners right now, and we have Punk versus Marvella. Oh, yeah, Punk versus Marvella. Winners finals right here, everybody. Very excited. You know, Punk moving all the way into winners finals with just the, just the fundies. Just the fundies are what matter. Yeah, um, but... <laughs> this is Marvella we're talking about. Oh, yeah, no, I know. I feel like I don't want to say anything. I don't want to <laughs> commentators curse Marvella here. But we're all thinking it. <laughs> yeah. So we're just not going to say it. Let it be unspoken, but let it be thought. <laughs> I'm just excited to see how both of them play because <laughs> uh, they're both playing very nicely tonight. Both of the winners' finals. Both doing great. So, uh, I mean, Chip's just going to have to avoid getting counter hit because if he gets counter hit, especially being Chip, you're dead. You're, you're just dead. Yeah, the man's got <laughs> almost no guts. There is a lore reason for that, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on stream, so. You're probably not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know it. That's all, that's all that matters. <laughs> this is the... Uh, this is the Twitter matchup, though. Both <laughs> these characters can blow each other up <laughs> with only so a few true. touches. <laughs> but we're going to see Cam Marvello bait, bait Punk. Oh, early counter hit, Jesus. early burst, and Chip has already lost 25% life. Yeah, I know. Neither with the whiff punish, Ooh, a fast near. FDing it though, so you know you don't take that chip damage because that's very bad as chip. Oh my god, he's just going for those asses and it's going for it. <laughs> and Punk is god. just swinging, and Marvello's got to play a little more defensive here. And he's gonna get counter hit, and that's gonna be round one over to Punk. So bad guy, man. So bad guy. But. We, we we ride, as they say. Trying to get a counter hit. Punk, punk blowing out all the... <laughs> Marvello trying to space out the Rekka there. See if he can catch Punk trying to hit a button. The Punk playing Ooh. very patiently. A, a nice combo. Break the wall. Yeah. 
Ooh, PRC. PRC out of gun flame. Instant, instant burst. Being at that level of health, I don't blame the man. Trying to buy crazy pressure getting that Good overhead. overhead. Red RC. Are we going to take him up the wall? We're not going to take him up the no. wall. We're going to stay on the ground here for a minute. Ooh, what a slump. Jesus. I don't know if that was like a, that was intentional it or was, not, but it worked out. So. It, whatever works, right? I, I don't expect. I, if, if Punk, I was going to say, I don't expect <laughs> Punk to burst, and then he bursts. So, I don't know. <laughs> Marvello had one touch to go that entire round, did not get hit, and without Punk having burst here, Marvello is, is free to do what he wants as long as he doesn't get counter hit. <laughs> yeah, that's all that matters, really. And <laughs> as we talk about it, counter hits coming out, Volcanic Viper. Taking a solid 50, uh, 45%, and now you're... And a wild throw, and that... That's up. Oh, no, not going to be it. The burst came in at a good time, but we're going to super. He's going to negate the Bandit Bringer. Very nice. I don't think that's going to kill. It's not going to kill. <laughs> good command throw and a red RC, and that's going to kill. There we go, Chris. <laughs> but uh, what's it called? Yeah, no. <laughs> that raw super, very nice from Marvella right there. I thought that would have catch for a second. I was like, ah, no. <laughs> Mad. Anyways. I feel like Marvello adjusted two punks playstyle very quickly in that set. Oh, yeah, no, obviously. I mean, now you see Punk just, or Marvello trying to bait out whatever. Trying to bait a counter hit punish. And he by finds punk. it. He finds the counter yeah. hit. Not able to take him all the way to the corner, but he's going to get the cross up of the Alpha Blade. A 2D for a counter hit. Ooh, this is going to be really nice right here. And, and the a friendship, friendship super. super. <laughs> it was a good safe jump for Marvello. Punk smart enough hit. to not press, but that jumping D is going to lead to a perfect for Marvello. A Punk's going to get his burst in this round. He has it right now, and immediately it's gone. He's feared. Yeah, but it looks like that burst is actually working uh, out yeah. because <laughs> now Marvella's over under 50 percent. life right now. Over half of your health is gone just from, just from one conversion. Very scary. I mean, but that's what you expect when you play Chip, right? Oh, two BRC is going to BRC each other. Oh, he expected a burst. Oh, thank God. Not able to get the conversion oh. he was looking for because he was looking for the burst bait. But I just realized. Throw is going to close that out. And we're on a round three here in game number two. Ooh, that spacing out the wreck of that time actually did catch Punk hitting a button, but no conversion off of it. Ooh, and that bandit bringer doing it. Oh, a lot of damage right there. But of course, knocking him down to the ground, getting a cross up too. You're gonna see a lot of combo damage right here for Chip. Not actually a lot, but yeah. You know, it's a good amount. It's, it's a no, good it's amount. A, it's, chi it's Chip damage. It was, a, it was a good cross up and another one. Oh yeah, no, no. Are we gonna take him all the way to the corner? We're gonna uh, get. We're gonna get pretty oh, much to the corner, oh, but a goal first. first. Oh my God. I'm expecting a raw And now boot. Punk has got some meter to play with. Aww. Positive bonus was able to get Marvello to his red RC, and the diagonal alpha blade is going to close it out. Very nice That's from Marvello. Game number two, I believe. Yeah. Over to Marvello, and Marvello's up 2 0. Marvello's and in this winner's finals, has a chance to send Punk down to Lulu's to face Creator. Oh, yeah. yeah. Marvello's keeping his cool right here. I so mean, is Punk, honestly. Both honestly, these players, yeah. I mean, both these players are, are veterans in the FTC, and they, they know how to keep themselves composed. And Marvello is in the driver's seat right now, but don't count Punk and don't count Soul Bad Guy out at any point in a match. You can never do that. <laughs> like we said, one counter hits all it takes to get it started. Ooh, this is not able to punish the Volcanic Viper. That block screen, though. Not gonna block the right thing. He's gonna get heavily punished by the wall break right here to the positive bonus. So Marvello just needs one touch, and there it is, and that's the <laughs> round. There we go. So match point for Marvello here. Marvello could easily go into grand right here. Oh, putting on all that risk and getting his counter hit. Ooh, look at all that damage. And the friendship super. Friendship super. There we go. Having a positive bonus here too. Very scary for Punk. Especially being at 
match that or yeah, game set. Good jumping D for a counter hit. Red yeah, RC is gonna get the up. wall break. Punk's gonna miss the burst. Perfect. And Marvello's not only gonna go to grand finals, but he has punched his ticket for the invitational for invite hell number two. That's very Jimmy true. I'm very excited wins. to see Marvello there. Nice to see a chip player. Yeah. <laughs> now of course the other people that can get into, you know, um, Invite Hell, it can't, will either be Punk, Creator, or MFCR. I forgot, MFCR is still, still hanging around here. Yeah, no. That's actually our next match. Exactly, we have Creator and MFCR. I thought it was going to be Punk, and it's not. MFCR and Creator are going to go at it. Yeah, no. I'm, I am rooting for Creator, because, you know, Got to root for the Geo. Geo. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited to see if M MFCR can trip Creator up with those left-right mixes because, you know. Now, I do believe these two have played each other quite a bit. So. Me personally, I wouldn't know. I'm not an SFL guy, so. I wouldn't know. I didn't know much about Creator until just yeah. now, so. Yeah. Who knows, Danny? Who knows? <laughs> okay, disconnecting the controllers this time, I assume. Please. Please. Ah, let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, they're making sure no other controllers. We're just again. checking. We don't want any accidental <laughs> home screens again. <laughs> don't want to repeat, am I right? Ah, but um, anyways. So Set. winner of this match goes to losers finals to face Punk. Very excited to see how that would go. I mean, yeah, because Punk, Punk somehow got all the way here. Punk's doing very well. Yeah. I'm I'm surprised. Honestly. Do I think he's gonna play Guilty Gear again? Probably not, but it's <laughs> yeah. showing. True. Looking for music here. Hey, music is very important. This game has a banger soundtrack. Oh, and they chose we're a gonna good go too. with Hellfire. I, I love this song. Um, I mean, of course, the Leo is gonna go with Hellfire. Uh, it would be better if they went Rock Parade though, because Rock. Oh, this is also a good pick. Uh, the only not you good got one Milio's is the theme. The only not good one is the lone infection because I can't listen to that on a highway. If I can't listen to it on a highway drive, then it's not good. I like a lone infection. That's Faust. I mean, hey, I don't. I'm not saying I don't like Faust. I just don't like that theme. I like the theme. The only theme I think I don't like is Jackass. Yeah, Jackass theme. Really anyway, <laughs> we're starting off with the 5K. Yeah, no, creator. That normal automatic. geo pressure that we're so accustomed to with this character. But the back turn from Leo blocks the burst yeah, and gets the punish. I learned that you can't block right there because you can jump cancel that move. And you, since you can jump cancel it, you can automatically block. So instant block, even though you think it shouldn't. Yeah, it's just understanding your character and understanding the tools that you have. Exactly. Ooh, that's and really MFCR was under some pressure, but gives it right back and closes out the first round. He's gonna have TD right there, but then the burst coming out. Of course, you know, getting that counter hit. Could it be a wall break? Probably not, but instead, putting on insane pressure. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's gonna this is gonna kill it. No, okay. No, Woo! it's not. I was afraid for a second. But MSCR putting on the pressure. Creator's got to find an opening. Gets the 2D into the 2 1 4, but his side switch comes out off the second 2 1 4. Oh my god, both of them PR seeing in order to cancel those moves out. Ooh, good block on the side switch. Much easier to react to because of the DRC, you know? Ooh, and a grab. Dash yeah. up throw. It's going to give the first game to MFCR. Very one nice. Oh. Very nice reacting to all the pressure that Creator is giving out right there. Ooh, oh my god, Our burst. instant burst with the flash kick isn't going to allow Creator the time to punish it. I think he knew that he wasn't going to hit Geo. He just wanted to get out of that 2-3, or 2-3-S, 6-S, in order to not get pressure to oh. But a good strike throw is going to keep Leo in the corner here. Also he did. Ooh, that he tried to go for the super. There was no there wasn't enough meter for the super though. Still that 5H does a hefty amount of damage. Good counter hit, can use the red RC. Another counter hit. Okay. Giovanna does Giovanna things. 
What do you expect? <laughs> Prayer just making the best of the situation. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, a little bit afraid after that uh, two through six day, and instead getting hit, getting into the corner himself. The burst is not going to be able to let him get out. The heavy fireball is going to keep him enough block stun for MSCR to be able to keep up the pressure. Ooh. A 5D. And getting the wall flat and wall break. Wall flat and the wall break. Hi. Oh, that, two, that, that BRC let him react to the 5K. Oh, the, both of these players doing very nicely against each other. Ooh, that was a very nice AK too. Okay, oh, and that's heavy counter hit right here. They're gonna put into extreme pressure and the left right mix up. On oh, the other side, now we're going on the other side. <laughs> Dude, you can't, you don't know what to expect from this guy. We got two throws, and, and Crater's in a poor situation. Oh, and yeah. Blocks the burst, and that's going to be the round. You know, I'm very surprised that, uh, uh, what's it called? MFCR hasn't gone for uh, Leo's command grab. Dual one. No. Let's I think that's fine, because I feel like Crater has the reaction to be able to hit uh, 2P or 5P out of it. I mean, yeah, obviously. But, you know, it's like, if you're expecting it, and players of this caliber are more than likely able to react to that. It's not the safest option, but Prayer is just he's putting on the pressure right now. Oh yeah, yeah obviously. But you know, MCR not letting up. MCR with a good side switch. I think it's a wall. Oh, never mind. He does. Prayer <laughs> went for a 2K when he's in the corner, and MCR yeah. just pressed his button just a little sooner. That full conversion is going okay. to the end of the round. There we go. Didn't even need the overdrive. Just wanted to send a message, I guess. Hey, listen. It's like, can I, who presses the button better? Which Boonga Boonga presses the button better? Currently, right now, it's MFC off. But, I mean, Creator can obviously bring it back. A good ID 5K out of the corner. Gets the pick up and gets the throw back into the corner. Ooh. MSCR but MFCR doesn't let it phase him and back throws him back into the corner. It's just we're just throwing each other. Hey, I mean, you know, every, you can throw, I can throw, he can throw, she can throw. That's what's going on right now. Exactly. Each character gets a really nice setup from it, so the more throws, the better throw. Right? Good, mm. good burst from both players. Oh, there we go. The Dash heavy up fireball. 2D did not get the counter hit that he was looking for. He's gonna jump over the fireball, but the PRC flash he can kind of catch him. Ooh, there oh, that 5k pickup again. There's the counter hit on the 2D. Oh, now you're going to see it. Oh, but wasn't close enough to get the rest of that. Very nice, though. Air carry combo, but he's going to just get the wall splat and close it out with a 5H. Creator moving this on to round three here. Very nice. This is match point for MFCR, but Creator's going to try to get himself back in this, because this is his tournament life right here. I was going to that grab and says TRC to not get punished. Very nice combo in the corner. Ooh, okay. I see the OG right here. Heavy here. fireball into the side switch. Ooh, nice 5 feet right there. And MFCR having burst in order to deal with whatever. Good throw tech from Creator. There we go, he tried burst. to he tried to dash RC the burst there, but MSCR was patient, waited for his opportunity to get out of that. Oh my pressure. god. Can he react to the left right mix up? That's all that matters right now. Oh, I, oh my goodness. Oh, there the goes. dash up far slash is gonna Ooh. give creator a game. So we're one two going on to game number four in this set. Very nicely done from all of them. Anyway. We're gonna see now, missing that grab right there. But Creator decides not to punish me yet. But um, right now they don't seem to be caring about my corner that much. Besides, I don't need corner. You can just play it in the middle. Another 2D for the counter hit. Blocks the burst. We're just gonna throw him in the corner, get the OCG hit into the safe zone. And the side switch. I'm surprised that he's just not throwing him out of that side. I know. I'm, that's surprising too, because like 
You can, but MFCR is just going crazy with the left or right. He don't care. He just do what he want to do. And obviously, Once again, we're at match point for MFCR. Creator's got a hill to climb, but we've seen him do it once. He can do it again. And this is how it starts. He's already got a wall break. He's got meter. And he's got more burst meter. So the flash kick's going to get a counter hit, but no RC to keep it going. Good throw into the corner. 2K for the OTG. Oh, he RC into an air throw. Very nicely done from Creator right there. Bring it to round three. All right. Now, MSCR bringing him in corner, but Creator getting out of that. But no one wants to deal with that. Good close slash. Ooh, very nicely done by Creator. But Creator's just reaching into his bag of tricks right now. He's just using whatever he can to mix up MSCR. Ooh, Good tech on the air throw. Fast PRC to try to catch him pressing a button. Oh, Another flash, fast yeah. PRC with the flash kick counter hit. Good throw attack. Oh, you're in a That is going to close yep. it out, and MFCR is going to move on to fight Punk. And that is the end of Creator's Tournament. I will say, though, as a personal note, uh, Leo having a fireball map to a charge move is absolutely horrible. Whoever designed that needs to... It's just Guile. I know. I don't like, like charge, I don't like charge <laughs> moves. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I said on a personal note. I hate charge moves. I mean, MFCR, he found his window. He kept going. Oh, yeah, no. MFCR is crazy. Craig played very well, though. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, obviously... All these fights have been very fun to watch here in Soul Top 8. Yeah. We've got Leo versus Soul Bad Guy. <laughs> and this is characters. just, again, we're just going to see how far can fundamentals take you. <laughs> Punk's run has been a very interesting one. Yeah, but he's facing up against MFCR. <laughs> That's true. That's this, is, this is the Central Florida Leo right here. Exactly. Very excited to see how this goes. Ooh, he tried for the left, right, but Punk's just going to throw him right out of it. Finally, we get to see a throw punishing that left, right mix up. Ooh, tries to go for the same, but MFCR does not fall for it. And there's the back turn. He's going to get himself out of it. Playing <laughs> the ground footsies that Guilty Gear is known for. Two grabs in a row. Another throw, a third <laughs> grab. This is like Evo Potemkin, so bad guy. And he just he jumps out of one grab and jumps out of a wild throw. Oh, finally. He's going to get a grab in the back turn. Oh, my God. Yellow okay. RC, the 5D, <laughs> but the 2D red RC is going to be able to help MFCR close out the first round. Yeah, there we there go. There was just so much meter <laughs> being thrown around there. All right, but now we're going to see that. Counter hits are going to be very nice for both of them. You know, having both invincible moves. Ooh. These grabs are being very well. Okay. <laughs> We're just throwing each other. All right. Not going to use his burst. Punk getting back to mid screen. 2D counter hit. It's a, I've seen that a lot from MSCR. He's having yeah. a really good time to press that 2D. The accidental P bag. Ooh, that heavy counter hit, trying to burst. Good block on the burst, yep. which is going to lead to some good damage for him. Not going to be a wall, actually, I lied. It's going to be a wall it slide and a wall break. Game one over to MFCR. Very nicely done from MFCR right there. Dual one. Now nope. going into game two right here. I expect to see a lot more throwing. It was a good instant <laughs> ball from MFCR. Jeez. Big counter hit. Punk is just, as soon as he gets hit, he's bursting. I mean, yeah, that makes sense to the, you know, Punk situation right now. Ooh, very nice wall, but wall count. MFCR backs up away from the Volcanic Viper, gets a good punish. Yeah. The overdrive's going to get some good it. damage. Yeah. And it's going to kill. Yeah. And a the perfect, perfect, too. 
Now, of course, Punk going in, getting all this damage and bringing MFCR to the corner. Punk trying to escape. Escaping with the 6B. Misses the throw. Ooh. That wrist gauge is getting up there for Leo. We almost got to a mortal counter. Good block on the burst. The second time he's done that now. Ooh, and, and that's going to be the second game over to MSCR. There we go. That's going to kill Looking right there. very comfortable right now. Yeah. Punk has got to find a new game plan. MSCR might be... MSCR seems to have the greatest chance onto moving on to invite help. So, you can't count Punk out. Can't count Punk out. Because the Volcanic Viper is going to take him into an Oki situation. The throw is going to get him to blow 50. They have a wall break here. So he's not the super instead. Change the neutral setup. Sorry, my brain up. lagged in the middle of that. <laughs> Happens. Ooh, and then nice Punk's done. not letting it phase him. First round of game number three. Over to Punk. Okay, it's instantly bursting. Again. <laughs> Ooh, getting these counter hits though. Very nice for Souls gameplay right here. Ooh, and the reversal. A 5k has two hits to it, and I always forget. You can use it as an anti air too, but it you hits know, above him. It's why so not? It's the dumbest move ever made. Thank and you. MFCR going back to his left right mix up. Ooh, a good hit confirm into the overdrive. Not gonna, not gonna get the wall break. That would have been the wall break. Oh, but whip throw. What was that? Four, five Bs? Something like that. It was <laughs> up there. It was four or five of them. <laughs> anyway, this is the flash kick. It. We're going to see a punish here from Punk. Yeah, but that burst is going to save NFCR from all that damage Punk is about to do. But that flash here, I'm going to put him in a bad spot. Charge five Bs, too. Ooh, that was a very Good nice throw. Yeah. yeah, and that's going to be a Game number three two. over to Punk. So one, two, and a game number four. MFCR still on. Still up in the set, but Punk is climbing. He's climbing that mountain. Yeah. But much like the last set, Trader also won one game, but MFCR came right back and fixed all the holes he had in that game. Yeah, and that flash kick, trying to save him, but Punk automatically... Another throw out of the side kick, but another flash kick for a punish. Exactly. Punk reacting to all these left right mix ups, not being tripped up by any of them at all. Trying to escape, but <laughs> you're catching it out. This is a good six feet from MSCR to get the counter hit, and we got the back turn combo cooking. Miss Volcanic Viper, and that's going to be the yeah. round. Very nicely done from MSCR right there. Could be game set. He's right spacing here. it out. He's not even gonna. He's not even attempting to block that volcanic. He's just gonna let it whiff. Now Punk just pressing buttons in neutral, and the CR walked a little too far. You'll love to see it. Uh, <laughs> got that Leo blender, but he misses the throw in the corner. Oh, my. Well, okay. Thanks, game. Okay, getting that burst, trying to bait it out, but Punk cannot fall. He whips the slash in the back turn to finish his punish for it. Ooh, very nice. Another done. red RC is going to let him get the wall spot and the round. Damn, very nicely done. Punk is bringing his back. <laughs> Ooh, and that counter hit right there. 5k, very nice move, but that flash kick is going to get him out. NFCRs. Good throw, he's got the pressure started. And that throw tech. Good throw tech from Punk. He faked him out on a fake gun flame. Ooh, and, oh, it doesn't go for the super though. Saves his meter for probably an RC later on. Yep. And there it is, there's the red RC with no burst from, but he drops the combo. Burst on deck now for Punk. Deciding Another counter hit, gonna get the red RC. Deciding not to burst at all during any of that. He's gonna hold it and yeah. honestly holding onto that burst was not the right call, yeah. unfortunately. I was 
Punk laughing. I, un I understand why he held on to it, but I, sometimes you gotta let it rip. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure you can be afraid of it being blocked, but if you never throw it out. After the red RC, I understand not bursting, but that second hit, I would have bursted. Yeah, I, I don't know. Me too. <laughs> A punk anyway. with a good round start, already getting MFCR under 50% alive. He's going to block the flash kick. He's going to get punish for again. Heavy Sarge Volcanic's going to hit, and he's going to get the OTG hit for the round. Did he just walk up slowly? Yeah, he just walked up slowly. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, the 6B game in. Blocking out a little bit of, about a little bit of the mix up, but not all. Trying to get those five pieces. in. Not working out. MFCR, just, he's just looking for a hit. He's looking for a hit for him to get something started, but the PRC is going to let him block the burst and. Damn. Not going to break the wall there. Signing up. Okay. That counter Thanks. hit, and no. Punk is going to grand finals, and Punk got his ticket to invite <laughs> hell. Two. Oh my god. This man doesn't even play the game. And he's in the Invitational. I'm very excited to see how this Invitational is going to be stacking out on November 19th. Oh, it's going to be crazy, man. But yeah, moving on to Grand Finals here. It's going to be very nice. We're going to have uh, Punk versus Marvello. The run back. A run back. Marvello yeah, a sent Punk to losers, and Punk has fought his way back. MFCR played very well, but Punk made some very good adjustments towards the end there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just excited to see how both of these players play. But we have uh, third place over to MFCR. Yeah, so very good, well a done. good showing. Very well done from those, very well done from MFCR. You know, not winning at this time, but you know, still very high spot. Very nicely done. Um. Hit the bunk, yeah. Is in my hell for it? Yeah, it's only it's only Florida only. It's I believe in, it's between Central and South Florida. Yeah, I think the only Central one being played is Juicy Monster. I believe Punk still lives in Orlando with Smug. I think they still live together. <laughs> Anyways, well here we are, round one of the grand finals. <laughs> Yep. Starting off very volatile because Punk in the driver's seat going to go ahead and get that Volcanic Hyper. And this is the problem with Chip not having any guts. He just got blown off. Honestly. Now, of course, you know, Marvello trying to fight back against that first round because that was... He let Punk go off, get a counter hit, and that was not good. But he grabbed that... Well, Marvello's here to execute his game plan now. He's got the pressure. Good overhead. Red RC blocks the burst. Rekka into the wall spot. Ooh, oh, and the wall command slot. grab, though. Oh. 5k to get out of the pressure. He's going to throw him into the corner, and now it's Punk's turn. Surprise. No DP. Oh, okay, Good DP is. out of it, and the diagonal alpha blade is going to get him the round. Now, of course, Marvello trying to approach, get these little box screens in, but of course, Punk's not Punk's walking the right way and able to get out of it. The Volcanic Viper is a punish, but Marvello's gonna use his burst here. FDing the pressure from the soul. Yep. Oh, I thought he'd go for an overhead for a second, but not. Okay, giving it up. Good 2k and a 2d, Ooh. got a jumping heavy slash. Nicely done. The cross up too. Cross up with the jumping slash. Got the alpha blade for another mix up. The YRC. Really nicely done. And the counter hit. Counter this hit. might be okay. Now something didn't a bit too have far. any. He didn't have meter, so he wasn't able to RC it into into the round. Yeah, I got scared for a second. <laughs> Marvello's got a chance. He's got to find a good hit here. And that might be the hit he was looking for into the Almost corner yeah. carry. Oh. Yeah. Punk's got burst, but the heavy slash isn't going to kill. Welcome to Chip. He's got meter though. Yo, I'm, I'm scared, man. Oh! And the That's Beta good. Blade is gonna get round number one over to Marvello going up 1 0 in our grand finals. Have you scared for a second, Marvello? Not letting it slide though. Both of them fighting for that entry ticket to Dream Hack. Alright. Marvello's taking the pressure he had from the first game and he keeps moving it on into round number one of game two. Doesn't block the burst this time. 
Ooh, very nice to done. Very Good nice block on the 6k from, from Punk. Huge. Now using his turn very nicely, pushing him back into the corner. Lorna is swapping corners all the time. Ooh, oh, misses the first. but misses doesn't get any connection on the first, so easy punish Punk. Hate to see PRC it. to continue the pressure. Ooh, and that cross up though. Another cross up. Marvello's starting to use that slash cross up a little more now. Uh huh. And he blocked the YRC, leading to crazy conversion, especially with the red RC. And yep. that is going to kill. Very nicely done. Now bring it to round two right here. Marvell not having that much burst meter to work with. So how do you throw? Oh yeah, true. Punk in the corner now, Marvello able to do what he wants, but a counter hit's gonna let Punk get himself out of there. Heavy slash volcanic viper. Taking on the pass. Another health. counter hit. Okay, both of them just trying to play. Just finding some stray hits, but we're not yeah. getting any big conversions off of them yet. That's going to probably be big <laughs> off that counter hit. Oh, and the red RC2. And yep, that's, that's going to be, be the it. round. Going to round number three here in game number two. Very well done from both players. Now, Arvella is having more of a burst meter than Punk is. He's just going to have to play it very safe, as you can tell. Ooh, and that far ass. Ooh, and the counter hit two. Overhead. Block. Ooh, trying to I thought that was going to be yeah. a Viper. I didn't. That was just a crouching punch, I believe. Ooh, it's a block coming in, though. But a good punish from Marvello. He's just spacing. He's Ooh, just playing yeah. space here. He's letting Punk whiff. Ooh, that YRC, though, into a punish. Not converging off of anything, though. So Marvello is safe right here. But both of them have bursts. So, you know. Good blue RC. He's right. going to burst. Oh, it doesn't matter though. Volcanic Viper is going to get us back to mid screen here. Ooh. Back into the corner. And having a negative. negative effect. Ooh. And the 2D is going to close out the game. Game number two over to Marvello. It's going to be a clean 3 0 right here. Marvello up 2 0 in this set. Yep. Now, of course. Just trying to press these buttons in order to get in. Bursting halfway through and making sure he does not waste it. Ooh, and a counter hit. There's going to be a lot of damage with the burst stopping that from happening. Heavy counter hit. Another counter hit on the, on the 2D. And lots of counter hits today. <laughs> Ooh, French hit super. Ooh, the Good up. side switch. Very nicely done. Now you're going to carry him across the stage onto the wall. Ooh, doesn't wall splat though. The command. Oh, and that'd be Marvello's at Regular tournament throw. point. This might be it for the tourney. Bringing him to Dream Hack Atlanta. Well, it's not over till it's over. Oh, so yeah. It is no. soul bad guy. It is <laughs> a chip on the screen. Hey, listen. It ain't over till the fat lady sent. So bad guy is the fat lady. So. <laughs> Good command throw in the corner. Ooh, the diagonal. Ooh, the block for the yep, burst, and, and Marvello is your juicy monthly champion. Very well done, Marvello. Winning grand finals for Strive and getting his way into DreamHack Atlanta. Marvello's on his way to DreamHack. <laughs> there it is, baby. Let's 